Welcome back. The History Museum on the Square is a true gem of Springfield, and they're giving you some unique opportunities to dive into the culture of Springfield this summer. Sean joins us now with more information. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you've got something really interesting coming up. Talk to us about it. So, yeah, we have the uh, Meet Your Springfield Leaders. Okay. It's a youth leadership panel. Mm -hmm. So we have, uh, it's a part of the Je uh, Jeanette L. Musgraves Foundation for Multi-Year Impact Grant for Student Citizenship. Try to that, at home, I bet you can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. But no, we're, we're, it's a part of the Community uh, Foundations of the Ozarks. It's a grant that has enabled us to create the Civics on the Square program. Mm -hmm. It's an education program that gets uh, kids engaged with like city, civics, citizenship, things mm -hmm. like that. So mm -hmm. yeah, we have uh, coming up on June 8th, we have a leadership panel. It's it. geared towards kids to yeah. get kids direct access to these leaders from our community. We have uh, Mayor Ken McClure, Councilman Matthew Simpson, uh, Dr. Granita Lathan from SPS, uh, Leadership Springfield Executive Director Carrie Richardson, and Winter Kinney, who's the CEO yeah. of uh, Community Foundation of the Ozarks. Yeah, I feel like this event is so important because I feel like as a local citizen of Springfield, I feel like something we often <laughs> okay. hear though, no, but seriously, I think something we often hear is that people don't know who's in charge. Right. And I think people get really upset about it, but it's like, this is a prime opportunity, especially as a young person to go in and kind ask of, I guess, yeah, ask questions. So like, would you say that was kind of like the point and the motive of yeah, doing this? It, 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 that was exactly the point. And the, another part of this is that, you know, when you say to a kid, the mayor or the CEO yeah. or whatever, there's like this huge lofty expectation of who that is. And oh, there's yeah. no, you, you know, there's no way I'm, you know, as an 11 year old ever going to talk to the mayor. Yeah. Right. So, uh, so yeah, this is an opportunity for, uh, again, just to get kids in front of these yeah, the young mayor. folks to yeah. sit there yeah. and ask those questions that they mm -hmm. might think they never would have the option exactly. to ask them. Yeah. Well, and also in the same sense, it almost like kind of humanizes these people. Exactly. You know, like we're not realizing they're like scary or unapproachable. Like they're just like us. They just have a, maybe a little bit more power than we do. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So Well, and then all these kids, hopefully it sparks that uh, inspiration to, oh, that that is that is a person. I am a person, you know, and have that Yeah, maybe it opens up, they want to go down that route. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because yeah, I don't really think, you know, a lot of times you think to yourself, oh man, I just want to be the mayor. Because I feel like, <laughs> well, no, not in a bad way, no, but, but like, I know as a what kid, you, mean. you don't yeah. really know what that entails. So then right. to sit down and actually talk to them about their day-to-day -day duties and what they get to be a part of, I mm -hmm. think it really does open up that window of like, oh, yeah. I mean, I could do that. I want to pour back into my community. Exactly. And how they got to that point. Yeah. You know? So uh, they may have gone to the same schools as these kids or something like that. So then, yeah. yeah to hear their stories and be like, okay, well, if they can do it, I can do it too. Yeah. It's very attainable. Exactly. Yeah, I love that. Now, you guys are always doing so much incredible work. And one of kind of your reoccurring or on and off things that you do is your different walking tours, both yes. on downtown and C Street. Remind people how those work. Yeah, uh, go on uh, historymuseumonthesquare.org, okay. get your tickets. Uh, right now they're once a month, and at this Saturday we just had this one for this month, but okay. next month we have them. Yeah, it's, it's a very low impact walk yeah. around downtown or throughout C, uh, C Street. And yeah, you just uh, show up in the morning and we take you through uh, downtown, some of the uh, more interesting spots of uh, where some major stories happen. Mm -hmm. some maybe not so major, but interesting sure. stories Still happen. Still good yeah. nuggets yeah. of information to have. Exactly, so yeah, get get to know your, uh, your downtown, get to know your C Street. So this season's tour is gonna be a little bit different than last season and next season. So okay. they're always changing, but they're always um, very much uh, celebrating Springfield's history. Yeah, which is what we all need to do more of. And exactly. what the really, honestly, what yeah. the great work that you guys do. I mean, that's a lot of what you're doing. So yeah. people want more information, Ryan, them one more time how they get a of you guys try our, uh, our socials on Facebook and Instagram but then uh, history museum on the square okay. dot org it's a dot long one but it's exactly what we are just yes. make sure to type it out and you yeah. can find it exactly. well Sean thank you for being here we always no. appreciate it good good stuff thank Thanks, you Sean. all right well coming up next we chat with Kelsey Hart about his brand new album don't go away Ozark Sly we'll be right back